Hello everyone, this is Anne, the little Frenchie in Big Texas, and today we are going to make some cowboy candy. I say we. This is actually my husband who's cooking because for me it was the very first time. I had never tried it before and it tasted great. I was really surprised here. Very hot but very sweet at the same time. Really nice recipe. So let's share it with you and get started here. Wow. That's so sick. I like the color. Oh, that green one is good. The little greens? Yeah, that's too good. Yeah. can go back and get some little greens. No, they turn red or chilies. Oh, they turn red? Okay. Okay, cutting the peppers. Oh. I would suggest gloves. I don't have any gloves. No glove? Seriously? With hot peppers? So what do we need for that recipe? Well, we're gonna start with, of course, the peppers. You're gonna need four pounds of hot peppers. We got ours from the garden. You can get them from the store if you don't have a garden. And then to prepare the mix, you see my husband uh, stirring here, you're gonna need four cups of apple cider vinegar, two cups of water, six cups of sugar, and one cup of honey. And we're gonna stir them all together. Bring this to a boil, three minute boil, mm -hmm. and uh, get all your sugar. Dissolved. Dissolved, yeah, in the vinegar water mix. Cut up your peppers. With gloves. With gloves. Where'd you get the gloves? Here. Hot. Yeah, these gloves are way too small for you. <laughs> Woman size small. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Mm. Red ghost. Yeah. Well, it's a lot to cut here and there's still more in the sink i mean orange habanero these ones yep. yeah these are the ones i dried i did try to dry the orange some of the red and green uh, long ones these are bananas i haven't done these ones dried oh well, I guess they're not as hot. Oh, they're sweet. Oh, they're sweet. Okay. But there's habanero sauce on the plate. While cutting the papers, we bring the mix to a boil for three minutes and continue stirring. Well, we're getting close to the end of our papers here. It smells hot from here. It's like... <laughs> and here we have the whole thing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of papers. It just smells hot. Can you feel the hot? The heat uh, onto the gloves? Uh, very much so. Uh -huh. I'm sweating, crying. Crying. My yeah. nose is burning. Your nose is burning. Well, that's actually good in case you've got a stuffy nose. I don't. You don't, okay. Well. You mean turn it down to the sandwich? Yeah, you can turn it down. I've got three bowl. peppers left. You can pour that bowl in there if you want to. What bowl? All right. Lots of papers. Oh. Wow. Okay, almost done on that side. A few more. 
more. That's it. Mm. You don't want to be on top of that pot right now. It's uh, hot. So right now, what's the next step? All right, bring it to a boil. Stir, bring it to a boil, and how long does it? Minutes. Ten minutes. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes. Once the boil starts, right? And we cover it up. Yes. Okay. It's very colorful and nice, huh? Woo! Yeah, don't put your nose on top. <laughs> you talk about some pepper spray. Yeah, I feel it from here, and I'm trying to stand like away. That smells good or bad, depending on how you want to look at it. But yeah. Oh, it's good. All right. Bring it to a boil. Fifteen minutes. So, fifteen minutes later. Wow. Boiled fifteen minutes. Now we're going to let it sit fifteen minutes with the lid on. Okay, how does it smell? Yeah. Oh, it still smells pretty strong here, huh? It's going to be very strong. Wow. <laughs> All right, another 15 minutes now. All right, our thing is ready, I think, yeah? So the next, we're going to transfer it into jars, right? Yes. And the jars okay. are here. They've been boiled. The leads uh, as well. Transfer it all. And then we're going to have to taste it uh, once it cools It'll down. Be better after it sits for a while. When you say for a while, how long? A couple weeks. A couple weeks, okay. It's always good to let everything soak and. Yeah, sit all kind of. Okay, so it's still kind of juicy and uh, liquidy in there. You don't have a, a stick magnet, any little magnet will work in your can. I say that and they don't want to pull out. <laughs> and the lid. Yep. And that's it. Get back, there's a jar. Give me that rag down there, please. It's about three sp spoons uh, in a jar. Make sure you fill it up with brine. Lots of pepper. Oh, you need the lead? Yes. Where's the magnet? go all right all right water bath uh 10 minutes bring it to a boil 10 minutes so how many jars did we end up doing uh, a bit less seven no
all this juice left here. We're gonna keep it. You can actually have two, two jars here. <clears throat> we just had a taste and it's, uh, how would I say? Sweet and uh, very hot. The kind of juice, you have a few spoons when you're in the winter, when you've got a stuffy nose and uh, it's gonna clear up everything. And it's, uh, but it's sweet and it, um, I still, I mean, still have it in my mouth, but it's manageable. Oh, that one has a lot of seeds. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, it's full. <clears throat> All right, 15 minute boil and we are ready. Right? Mm -hmm. So let's look at the colors of these papers. They're still pretty colorful. Maybe the green went down a bit in terms of shades, but uh, pretty nice colors. Yeah, really nice. So we ended up with seven jars of the peppers and three jars of the juice. Look at that juice. It almost looks like honey, yeah? It's got the color of yeah, honey. It's honey, all right. <laughs> it's honey, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Pretty nice, huh? I do really like the color here. Beautiful orange. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and share it with others who might be interested. Pretty good recipe, I hope you try. Thank you all for watching.